Hello guys, I'm here for another unboxing of the Razer Death Adder Black Edition. Now as soon as we open up the flap here we can see the Razer Death Adder Black in its natural habitat. Box isn't too interesting so we're just going to go ahead and take it right out. Razer has many mice and keyboards on the market and the reason I chose the Death Adder was simply because I'm more into first person shooter games so if you're the kind of person who likes to pr play first person shooter games I would recommend a Death Adder or the Death Adder Black but if you're the kind of person that enjoys MMORPG games you might want to go with something like the Ra Razer Naga or the Razer Naga Hex because they have more buttons so faster easier macros for your gaming experience now when we open up this we can see that Razer gives us as always a bunch of information on their mouse obviously it has a uh, Razer Synapse 2.0 set up macros and things like that and uh, stickers of course as every Razer product does and that's pretty much it it's not very interesting the uh, information we get from them so we're just gonna put that away because we're really more interested in the mouse right here so we're just gonna go ahead and look at the details of this mouse now you see it has a very fine braided cable very nice and shiny and very durable I, I don't see this breaking anytime soon also we have a gold plated USB for faster transfer rates now as soon as we take a look at the mouse here we see that we have two buttons on the side a left and right button on the top and a scroll wheel now unfortunately the black edition does not have the grip on the side as the normal death adder does and unfortunately it also has a lower DPI of 3500 as opposed to 6400 um, it also has a 3.5G sensor instead of a 4G sensor now if you were looking to buy a death adder I definitely recommend the original Death Adder 2013 edition simply because the better specs and it's only about a $10 price range up from this Death Adder so I would definitely go with that one but this one is of course fine because it has more than enough DPI and great transfer rates so it's really not much of my concern um, that's about it for this review guys. If you have any questions leave it in the comment section down below Don't forget to drop a like on this and uh, subscribe if you like uh, See you guys next time. Peace